make available PDF documents, MP3 audio files and videos in a simple and professional way. This is part two and I'm going to focus on how to use an Amazon S3 account. In part one that you can access in the link below, you can have a video and a, a post about why I recommend the Amazon S3 as one of the ideal ways to share content with clients, with potential clients, content like audio, video, PDFs, and so forth. It's a great way of doing it. Here, I'm going to focus on how to use the Amazon S3 account. In the first part, I also went step by step on how to set up the account. One of the last steps there was that you're going to get an email uh, that will say your Amazon Web Service AWS account is ready. Get start now. And here is usually where the confusion starts because the like I said before and what we have to keep reminding ourselves Amazon S3 is just one of the services of Amazon Web Service so if I click here this link uh, for AWS Managed Console I go to this console of all the Amazon Web Services and really the one that we are wanting to use is just this one and this but this console sometimes can cause some overwhelm so I really recommend that you select as the set started page here you select S3 you all have all the service there and you can select X3 as your start app page that way when you log in to Amazon Web Service you go directly to your uh, Amazon S3 like you are going to see here you will have to log in of course and uh, when you sign in because you set your settings for Amazon S3 to be your home page you will go directly to Amazon S3 console another way of doing it is to bookmark this page I have and it's very easy you can just bookmark a page and then you have it very easy to access and you just click there usually ask you to sign in and you will be in the Amazon S3 console that is a little bit tidy than this general one so that is the first tip to really make this work in a smooth way now that we are in Amazon S3, we need to understand a little bit the anatomy of this console here. And the main thing here is to understand that we have buckets. And this is, like say, here, all buckets. And these are my buckets at the moment. And uh, buckets are, is really a container where you store objects in Amazon S3. So you can give generical names like uh, audio calls, uh, PDFs, keep it quite generic. I, it's good to add your branding or your name or your company name because the way that the URL for a specific file is built is with the general Amazon and then slash will have the name of the bucket and then the name of the uh, individual file so the name of the bucket has to be unique for it to be accepted and one way is to of doing it is to use your branding another way of creating branding so to create a bucket is very easy you just have to click here create bucket give it a name and go amaze test bucket and I can choose here a region I like US standard and then I click create and it's creating and you see the bucket when you start there is no bucket and you will start and you'll see the first bucket created there so and will be something like this so once you have created the bucket, you can click on the bucket to open. And because this one is brand new, it's totally empty. 
and then you just have to upload you see the big button upload so you can click here to upload a file and the way of uploading a file is here click on add files you go it pulls information from your computer i'm just going to get something an image from here okay i select the image there i open this will be a little bit different if you are using a mac or a pc but this as you select a file then you'll see it here and you just have to start upload you can put several of them let me just add another file here it's the same process you open there so to select it you now you have two files here if you want to delete you you click the x here and then if you want to upload both files you go start upload there and then you see the progress here happening of the upload it's done it's there so it's very easy after you do this a couple of times it's really easy to do you can also create folders if you want if i go here create a folder and i could put images uh, and then i could put the image there but i advise to have generical buckets and generical folders because if you move things around if you move things for instance if i want to put this one within this folder i just have to select it there and now i go to actions i go cut and then I open the folder of image, I go actions and I put paste. And now as you see, it's moving there. And now I have this within the folder image, the all buckets, the name of the bucket and image, and now it's here. And if I go to the bucket, general bucket here, I will see that I have one file outside and there is one file within the folder so it's really a question of how you like to organize things but keep it in a consistent way that is the main main thing and if you are doing this just to back up information you are done you don't need to do anything else if you are using amazon s3 to share a file you have to do something else you have to select the file that you want to share you go to actions and you say make public you have to do this step and ask you to confirm you have to do this step to make this file accessible to other people you have to select the file or a group of files and make public this way if you go here and you click proprieties here or you also in actions you also have proprieties there you will have this information here and this link now you can copy this link and paste this link in an email in a website and this is the link that people will click to access the file in this case is an image if i open here and paste that link and enter you will see the image that is appearing here so very simple but you if you want to share you have to go to actions and make public and now you have a link that is accessible and as you see there is the name of amazon then your bucket name and then the file name if is this one within the other file if i go here to select it and see the the link I have the name of the bucket, the name of the file of the folder and the name of the file. And if I want to make it public, I just have to go there and click make public. So very easy. You can stop this video, listen again. You can see the steps in the post that I describe step by step how to do this. After a couple of times, this is really easy to do. I'm Anna Malikian, an elite Book Yourself Solid certified coach who loves to empower coaches and consultants to overcome online marketing and technology challenge and to get more clients. Want to learn more? Come to my live calls and connect with me via my website.